Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on MongoDB queries. This is the second video about MongoDB queries. In the first video, we discussed queries in depth. We did how to query documents, we did the different conditions to do so, and the different query operators. So this one is a particularly shorter video simply because we will be exploring simply and only the projection part of the queries. So we already know how to query the document for whatever we need. Now we want to learn how to pro project the certain fields that we want to see versus the fields that we do not want to see. So let's just get started with an example. I'm just going to connect to localhost. Obviously, this is MongoDB Compass, the GUI for MongoDB. So my database. And this is a sample database and a sample collection for products. And this is Mongo Shell. So I'm just going to use my database. All right, so here we go. Now we can start. So we know how to query. We learned how to query. If not from my video, then you have learned it probably somewhere else since you're here looking for explanations on projection. So let's, let's start. So here's what we have. So if I want to query all the documents with rating less than four, so I want to see uh, db.products dot find and we want rating to be less than or equal to four let's say and we close and enter and these are all the documents with rating less than four let's just prettify it by adding the dot pretty function at the end so these are our results now as we can see there are so many fields and maybe i'm not interested in all of them maybe i just want to see the name so this is where projection comes in. So how do we project? Let's just go back to our query. Let's remove the pretty function because it's not our goal right now. So we see that this document right here contains all the conditions that we have. So we can have another condition such as uh, price and price is like uh, greater, no, we need a dollar. It's greater than 10, let's say. Okay, so this entire thing right here would be the document for um, the condition, the matching condition for querying the uh, collection. So I want to project now. I only want to see the name. How do I do that? Well, this is not part of the first document. It's another document within the find function. So this is a second argument for the find function. And the way I would project is simply by stating the name of the field. So I want to see name. Okay. And we set it to one as well as let's say brand. And this, these are the things I want to see. So I close this, I close my big function and I enter. And this is what I have. So a much cleaner, nicer looking without even having to use the pretty function. So here I have the ID of every object with price um, greater than 10 and rating less than four, as well as with the name and the brand. So it's pretty straightforward. I mean, right here, we don't even have a brand for these documents. So this document right here does not have a brand, so we don't even see it. So this is how you would project to show things by setting the value to one of this field name. So let's just generalize it into more um, general terms. So it's, you have the find function, you have the first condition doc, it's a document, it's a MongoDB document at the end of the day, and you have the second document, which is the projection doc. All right, so you know this, and this is how you would structure your query to project certain field names. This is like, selecting certain columns in SQL, if you are familiar with SQL. So if you only want to see a certain column, you would say select name from this um, database. So, all right, so here we go. Now, what is what about this one part right here? So we use the one to say that, yes, I want to see this field. I want to see the field name. I want to see the field brand. So the alternative in this case would be obviously zero. So we can do the same thing and set name to zero and brand to zero. So if we close and enter, obviously we got now a much larger uh, form for the document since we can see all the fields except name and brand. Now, as you can see, we saw the ID field in both cases. Here's why. So the ID field is one by default, but you can choose to set it as zero. So we can do the same by saying we want id to be zero and we close we close and we enter 
And now, wait, this is really messy. Let's just clear. You can see it right here, but I just want to separate our current results from the previous results. So let's just clear the command line. Okay, let's just do it again. So now you can see that we do not have the ID field. Okay, now we have another rule. We have a rule that's particular to projection only. And that rule would be we cannot mix ones and zeros here. So here's what we're doing. We're either saying, I want to see all the fields except these, and you would have zeros for those fields, or I want to see none of these fields and only want to see these. And you would say name one, brand one, or whatever you want. All right? So this rule means that you cannot mix ones with zeros. If you want to try it out, we can say um, rating is one. So I want to see name, brand. Uh, I, I don't want to see name and brand, and I want to see rating. So we enter and we get an error message. So error, oops, okay. So error, projection cannot have a mix of inclusion and exclusion. So here you would not even be able to execute your query. You can never combine zeros with ones, except for one case. And that case will be for the ID field because the ID field is particular of its kind. So you can say, I want ID to be zero and the others to be one, but you have to specify it first. So if we say ID is zero and name is one and brand is one and we enter. And we can see only the name and the brand of every single one of these, but we cannot see the ID. So this is the only case where you can mix zeros and ones, but you must mention the ID first. And it's only restricted to the ID. This cannot happen with any other field. So make sure you never mix name, brand, and rating and have zeros and ones in there. So this is basically projection in a summarized format. You either exclude the fields you do not want to see, or you include the fields that you want to see. And you have some exceptions for the ID. And that's literally it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you understand projection now. Please leave a like if you do and a comment. And stay tuned for the next video for more on MongoDB queries. Thank you.